All right, hello, hello. Welcome back to Xanthus Gaming, where Horde Night every night, 30 minute days. Uh, so I forgot to set the Horde Night every night part <laughs> on that first day. But the good news is the first day with Horde Night every night is... It's not, it's nothing anyway. And we were running around outside so much, we pulled more zombies than we would have gotten on our horde anyway. I had to pause for a sneeze there, sorry guys. Uh, we're loaded into the world and we're over at the trader. Uh, it just took me a few hours to make it over here. Um, I noticed that the t the day wasn't turning red, uh, so I logged out to see if I actually set the horde night every night and then realized, hey, I didn't do that. Ooh, there's a chem station there that's working. Nice. Seems to be a working mixer. Ah oh, man. Ooh, I'll take the free clay though, for sure. Working forge? No. Oh, forged iron and tons of iron though. I will take that. Some nails and some pills. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. Alright, I think that's all the trash bags and stuff. There should be a couple lockers inside this room. And a workbench, yeah. A oh, workbench schematic. Very nice. Actually, that'll make getting to uh, some of the stuff we want to grab early on, like the mini bike, or sorry, the bicycle, quite a lot easier. Uh, I don't think there's anything upstairs, but let's just check real quick. Nope, and there's nothing on the roof. There might be like a trash bag or something, but we're not super concerned with that. All right, let's go talk to the trader to turn in the quest and maybe see if we can get another quest. Meds, oh, it's drugs, Trader Jen. Food. Nice. I got it all. All right. It's got a recipe for the anvil. Oh, no, it's an actual anvil. Okay. Uh, Before we sell to her, let's just see if there's any sugar butts. There isn't. I suppose it wouldn't have mattered anyway because I don't have the juice to buy it, but... Okay. So we'll sell the brass for 104 dupes. Anvil's too expensive. Restock on day four, but we can come back maybe and get an anvil or robotic parts. Actually, the robotic parts. That sounds amazing. So we need 600 dupes. Baseball bat sounds pretty good. Secret stash. She's got a fire axe. Uh, some good books and magazines as well. Burning shaft mod is fantastic, and an actual Thank robot so sledge. Okay, hey, we need to get some dupes going here. Uh, clear zombies. That's a long ways away. Buried supplies. That's much closer. Okay, be careful and try. All right, to we need to we need to get some dupes. Uh, let's go ahead and kill these guys. Experience is definitely welcome. Hopefully that buried supply is only 300 yards away. Um, let's see, where is it at? Oh, it's right by our base. That's that's actually hilarious. Okay. Well, that gives us a chance to run back to our base and drop off some stuff. So we might as well loot a POI while we're here to take back to the base. Um, whoops. bust our way out real quick so we don't get cornered by anything. I also kind of want to grab that uh, sports bag up top. And there's like a basement here for this place, so it usually has things like vaults and stuff, I believe. But we don't really have the ability to uh, to lockpick at the moment because we, we haven't found any lockpicks. So, say la vie. Take the chairs for the wood, though. Free wood is definitely something I will not say no to. Let's avoid the fall traps this time, eh? Nice. Alright. Well, that's a bummer. Take that fall trap back down. Got some shotgun shells. Doesn't do us a whole lot of good since we don't have a shotgun. A recipe for uh, making coffee beans, though, sounds really nice. Coffee is amazing for mining. They Another change they made in this patch is they reduced the uh, 
stamina cost of iron tools. Which is good, because it was kind of ridiculous during the streamer weekend. It felt like it was a little bit better on actual release, but if they're going to make it even better still, I'm definitely down for that. I think I got everything. Yep, okay. So we need to go downstairs now. Sounds like there's someone beating on this door. Um, they can they can bust it open for us, that's fine. I'll hear them coming because I'll walk over the glass. What do we got down here? Wine barrel things. I like that those are searchable. Those little blocks of bricks in the corner there. Those are extremely good, like, stone return per durability point that you have to bust through. They're, like, probably the best source of stone in the entire game. Oh, I thought you were dead. My bad. Probably the best source of stone in the entire game, honestly. Yeah, I don't feel like these were lootable before. I feel like this is new that those are actually lootable. So that's, that's kind of cool. I feel like those didn't used to be lootable. Okay, so we have cobblestone pallets we can take for building our base. Also awesome. Shelving units. Cool. We haven't found any coal or nitrate, so I don't know if I really need to be concerned about picking up the paper. Uh, worst case, honestly, we can sell the paper to the vent to the trader for some dukes. Looks like we got another magazine there. If it's not something we really want, we might consider selling it. It's a Night Stalker magazine. Meld into the shadows and sneak 5% better at night. Uh, we can sell it for 100 dupes, though. I actually think I'm going to probably sell it, to be honest. Uh, we're not going to be doing a ton of sneaking, I don't think. Because we're getting hoard every night, so it's not like we're going to be sneaking around at night, right? So that, that book actually has pretty much no value to me, unfortunately. So we have some stuff we can sell to the trader here. Great. Uh, we have extra blunderbusses there that we just got, which we can use to help defend ourselves or we could sell. Either one is a good option. Alright, let me help you out here, buddy. You've been trying so okay you know we actually probably need to check the trader to see if she has any like antibiotics or anything like that that she can give us you can't even get through still that is so depressing for you my man that is so depressing i can't get through either it's okay i have another way out you could like oh you figured it out so you could have walked around to the other opening that I created. This guy knows. Yep. Cool. Uh, let's go over to Trader and see what we can sell. We're at 1300, so we still got plenty of time. Our game stage is starting to increase. To a point where we're going to see a semi-decent horde, I feel like. So having that cobblestone that we just got to upgrade our bars will be pretty handy. Yeah, let's close the door behind us. Good. If you double tap E and walk through, it just auto-closes it. But I always look back just to well, check. Look what the cat dragged in. Uh, actually, I'm going to sell the extra blunderbuss. And sell as much stuff as I can that I don't need. I don't have a shotgun yet, so there's no point in keeping shotgun shells. Oh. I hope you get feeling better. So we just want to be able to move. So does she have herbal? Does she have anti? Does she have honey? She has honey. Uh, our infection's at 
All right, we're wasting all of our dukes for that, but stay safe out there. Scrap the things we don't need. We can sell her a headlight. It looks like. Let's quickly scan through and see if there's anything else that we want to sell her. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear my daughter in the background. She's yelling that she's got something for me. It's gonna be like a toy of hers or something she's gonna hold behind her back and let's say I've got a surprise. So I'll be right back and we'll go check. So she made this. Oh, so there's green blocks here because of the green screen. You can't actually see it, but there are green blocks there. So she made this like flower thing. Um, I guess I can take off the filter for the green screen. That's kind of funny. Um, so basically she made me a little Lego tower that looks, it actually looks like one of the clubs that I'm using, um, in the game. There we go. So yeah, that's kind of fun. So, uh, we'll be right back and then we'll get back to the gameplay. I don't know why I thought I need to show you this, but I did. Okay. Uh, back to the game. So, uh, I think we've sold pretty much everything we can sell. We're going to be a little encumbered getting back to base, which worries me. I think I'm actually going to scrap a few things, um, which I wouldn't normally want to do. Um, but I feel like we need to not be encumbered, so we need to get back to base ASAP. Uh, so we're going to take care of some of the less necessary things, right? Let's drink those yucca juices. All right. So that'll cap out our food and that'll cap out our water and also get us slightly less encumbered. All right, let's get back to base. And over by base is where our quest from her is anyway. Uh, we had another quest we read too. I didn't even look to see what it was. So we'll check that out once we're safe. Uh, but we definitely want to get back to base because or day cometh. We still haven't found any animals, like, at all. It's actually going to be a little bit difficult, because normally I would go out and hunt at night. Because wolves and stuff like that spawns at night now. And if we're having a horde night every night, I don't know how I actually go out to hunt. It could be an unexpected challenge, actually. Hmm. And get rid of that. We don't need the glass either. I don't know why I'm carrying that. My FPS just went to to the bad place. <laughs> just dropped to almost nothing there for a second. I don't know why, but it did not like something. And now it's fine. And now it's back to bad. Hmm. Okay. Let's, uh, this is a little trick you can do that sometimes works. Just turn on full screen and then turn full screen back off. And we're back to normal frames. Look at that. Strange, but it works. Actually, the frames are still kind of low. It's usually in the 60 range, so mm -hmm. troublesome. Looks like the treasure thing is off to the left there, but our base is right here to the right. And we have a lead deposit right next to our base. So let's go ahead and mark that. Okay. Okay. So let's drop off our inventory and we'll use the cobblestone we just got to finish upgrading this. It's probably something to do with the water in the area. Water sometimes has weird effects on frame rates. So, and there's some really shallow water that's kind of half clipping and showing and half not, so that could be having an effect on our game. Alright, we'll drop off our canned foods that we got. Uh, we'll learn the recipe for the coffee. I could have done that before, I suppose. I'm so glad we got forged iron. That's super lucky. Alright, um, we might actually be able to craft a forge at this point if we take some points into this. So let's do that. We also need to get a point into Master Chef. And then what does it take to make a bicycle? Intellect level two. 
So we'll take intellect level two and then we'll grab bicycle mechanic. <laughs> okay. Um, one second. Okay. Um, so yeah, we should be able to craft a bicycle soon. Let's see what we need for the forge. Leather and duct tape and short iron pipes. So the, the duct tape um, might be a problem. We do have some glue. We don't have any leather either because we haven't been able to find any deer. Hmm. Okay, that's going to be a little bit before we can make the forge. But I think the fire station uh, actually has some like leather couches. And there was a fire station over by the trader. Uh, so that might be a solution. Solution for that problem. Wait, what is that block? Huh. Okay. Thousand durability floor. I can get down behind that. This is 10,000, right? 10,000. 10,000. 10,000. I just want to make sure all of this is secure. Great. Okay. Uh, we probably want to make ramps to make this a little bit smoother for them, right? Uh, so let's do that. I wouldn't mind having a little bit of a buffer so that they don't fall down right away. Like, there's a little bit of room there for them to accumulate. I wouldn't mind that. Um, so we'll just do... Oops. Hmm. Save as much of the cobblestone as I can. Um, I don't know if we actually have time to upgrade all this. I don't know if we have the wood to upgrade all this, but at least make a little ramp system here for them to be able to get up easily. Got two more. I think you're beautiful, but you're going to have to go, I'm afraid. So I don't I don't want the the crop plots to be exposed to them to be able to break. Like to accidentally hit and break is a thing. So that's why I kind of want these ramps here. Okay, so should that be... Yeah. Okay. And like in theory, we'd want these to be higher quality than wood. Um, but upgraded wood is better than just regular frames, I guess. Maybe. Um, <clears throat> this will be our horde base for the first couple nights until we can get something else built. I was hoping by the third night we'd be able to get something, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. It might take us uh, three or four nights to get there. How's our wood situation? Uh, yeah, we can upgrade one more slot. If we have time. So if we upgrade it one more time, it actually upgrades it to cobblestone, <clears throat> which we don't want to do because we want to save our cobblestone for an actual horde base. Uh, but that's... <laughs> if you need to build out of wood, you can do that and upgrade straight to cobblestone. It'll just, it'll take the same amount of cobblestone as crafting flagstone than cobblestone does. So it's like, it's not any more efficient, um, but it is an option nonetheless. Okay. Hey, I'm back. She built me another tower. Oh, look, it's green screened again. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I think since we probably have the time and the iron, just to be safe, I'm going to upgrade those hatches to iron. Um, we do have the forge iron to repair the door if we need to. 
but I don't think that we'll probably need to. Just upgrading this to iron will make a big difference. And then we don't have any extra iron to further upgrade it, but that should discourage them from wanting to come there. I probably should break these out and, we're, and just kind of board them up, right? Oh my goodness. It's not why it is. It wasn't wanting to let me hit it, uh, but that's fine. Okay. So Fortnite cometh. Oh, I guess I have two blunderbusses on my bars. I thought I sold. I must have ended up getting three from that place. I mean, that's okay. That means we can double blunderbuss shot. So theoretically, they should come to this as the weak spot. Beautiful. You guys pump up just a little bit more. Great. Um, there we go. I didn't actually hit him. I was trying to go perfectly in the middle of them so that it would hit all. Is that a new zombie? Hold on. There's a zombie. That zombie on the right is a new zombie, I think. Honey, you'll have to wait a second. He's dead now, but I'm pretty sure that was a new zombie. Huh. His body's gone too, that's too bad. Let's take a second and reload. Oops. There will be more coming. It looks like we're up to about four at a time now. Minimize the damage they do by staggering attacks between the two of them, maybe? I don't know if that's better or if it's better just to kill one and then go for the other. Not quite sure. Oh, that sucks. Dialogue has to move. That is a bummer. Right, we're out of stamina. Okay, we're fine. So this block is actually almost gone. We have enough cobblestone that we can easily repair it. So that's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, once these coordinates escalate a little bit more, it'll actually be relatively difficult. I want to replace that window block here. Uh, I'm not super comfortable with that being there, even though there's steel below it. I'd like to just kind of close it up. And same with this one over here. Once the special infected starts spawning, the irradiated and stuff, they sometimes have like different AI logic. It feels like, and then like the zombies shoot, make different choices than they would before, and it results in sometimes the zombies doing things you don't expect. I'm not sure what happened to my torch. Huh? Did I put? Oh, I put it on the outside. I mean, that's fine. It lights up the zombies for us to kill easily enough, so that's not bad. Okay. All right. Well, we have another structure built for us. This one's for this one's not for me. It's for stream. Um, so yeah, we have lots of fun things. The green screen really makes it look weird, but you know, whatever. All right, uh, I think that's all we're gonna have for this horde night. I think we're pretty well set. Um, I'm gonna use the rest of the horde night to go maybe mine some rock or clay. I'm going to assume nothing exciting happens, but I'll just have the recording paused. If something does happen, I will unpause it so you guys can see. Otherwise, I'm going to say thanks for being here, guys. Make sure you like, favorite, share, subscribe, and tune in for the next episode. Bye, y'all. Well, I got a few feet away from base and found a wolf. Um, so something exciting did indeed happen. Um, and I probably shouldn't have done that. That might have been a really big mistake. Hope my base works. Oh, tight. All right. Let's say I hope this, this works against wolves as well. Um, it looks like it does. Sweet. Uh, so we can actually kill him with the... Yeah, let's say we don't have to use ammunition since he's going to be able to go down easily enough. So there's our, our meat problem. Partially solved anyway. Let's go ahead and make a bone knife. Man, usually I find enough deer and random boars and stuff on the first day that I'm just rolling in meat, but this one has not been like that. Alright, but that's good. 
So again, like, favorite, share, subscribe, comment down below. And I'm going to do some digging for the rest of this horde day. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.